Besides all the work that I've done with children and adults and kids, I spent a dozen years doing stroke rehabilitation research. I'm not that old, really. I just had gotten very involved at a very young age. I know I'm at least 10 years younger than your dean over here. So, <laughs> but in that stroke rehab research, the question was, when there's visible brain damage, and we can measure it on MRI, can you really retrain the brain? What do you think the answer is? Yes. yes. Yeah. What do you think the deciding factors are? Same three things. It doesn't matter if there's damage to it. It doesn't matter if there's a developmentally genetic weakness. It means you're trying to rewire the brain. Good news is, how many brain cells do you typically have in your brain? Give me a guess. Miss, what do you think? How many brain cells? Don't worry, no one else knows the answer either. What's your best guess? Millions. Million? Millions? Bill, what do you think? Bill says 100 billion. Bill has heard me speak before. <laughs> sure. I should have asked Bill. Yeah, it's 100 billion brain cells. When you've got 100 billion brain cells, you've got a lot of potential for new learning. Your college students and those of you who are college students have amazing learning potential. But the real question is, okay, but how about one brain cell? How many learning connections can one brain cell be involved in? What do you think? Sir, what do you think? Steven? One brain. One brain cell. One neuron. How many connections or networks do you think it can be involved in? Two. Two? All right. What do you think? Higher or lower? You've got either choice. Yeah. <laughs> Two as well? Okay. Miss, what do you think? How many connections can one brain cell be involved in? Infinite. Infinite, all right. Miss, what do you think? I would say 100. 100. Try 40,000. They estimate that one brain cell can be networked in up to 40,000 connections because the brain has phenomenal communication capabilities. You've heard about synaptic connections with the brain cells that be close to each other. There's also one that's called saltatory conduction. It's where the, the signal is coming down that wire, that brain cell, but it actually jumps in a bare spot out into the fluid and goes to another cell, hits it in the bare spot, and goes down to another cell. It doesn't have to actually be connected. So the brain has amazing potential for learning. It all comes back to what do you have the brain doing? 